During World War II, a group of Mexican fighter pilots undertook a valiant mission to aid in the liberation of the Philippines from the control of the Japanese forces. They belonged to the Mexican Expeditionary Air Force and were referred to as the Aztec Eagles. When the Allies were formulating their plan to retake the Philippines in 1944, the Mexican government pledged its support for the effort. Mexican pilots from a squadron will be sent to help with the liberation effort President Manuel Avila Camacho agreed to send. The Aztec Eagles, which included over 245 ground crew members and about 36 pilots, sent out their journey under the command of Colonel Antonio Cardenas Rodriguez. The Filipino people welcomed the Mexican squadron with open arms when they arrived in the Philippines in May 1945. The Aztec Eagles collaborated with the U.S. Army Air Forces and Philippine guerrilla fighters in their effort to expel the Japanese forces that had occupied the islands for a while. The Mexican Squadron 201, also known as the Aztec Eagles, landed in the Philippines and were attached to the American 58 Fighter Group. The 58 Fighter Group had been engaged in combat with the Japanese in the South Pacific for over a year. In order to facilitate quick identification in a dogfight, all of the 58's aircraft had broad black bands on their wings and fuselage that gave them a similar appearance. The Mexican flyers, however, embellished their jarros with special touches to set them apart from the competition. A Squadron 201 aircraft had rudders that were green, white, and red to mimic Mexico's flag's three vertical fields. The P-47D Thunderbolt fighter plane that the Mexican pilots piloted is a formidable machine renowned for its firepower and toughness. The Aztec Eagles started conducting air raids from their base in Tacloban and they also started giving aerial support to ground forces fighting the Japanese in ferocious battles. As they flew sorties over the Philippines, the pilots encountered many difficulties. Even though the Japanese defenses were firing ferocious anti-aircraft fire at them, their bravery, skill, and perseverance allowed them to continue. The Aztec Eagles continued flying despite the hazardous conditions, offering essential air cover and engaging enemy aircraft in fierce dogfights. One significant encounter occurred when a Japanese Zero Fighter squadron attempted to attack a squadron of American bombers. The enemy planes were quickly intercepted by the Mexican pilots who then engaged them in a thrilling aerial battle. The Aztec Eagles successfully protected the American bombers with their death maneuvers and precise shooting, shooting down a number of adversary aircraft and forcing the remainder to flee. The Aztec Eagles' efforts were crucial in giving the Allies air superiority which allowed them to advance and drive the Japanese forces back. The Mexican pilots conducted numerous bombing sorties taking out supply routes, bridges, and enemy installations. In addition, they supported ground forces with close air support, which helped the Filipinos defeat the Japanese and liberate numerous cities and towns across the country. The Squadron 201 remained behind in July 1945 when the 58th Fighter Group transferred to Okinawa in order to support ongoing operations in the Philippines. They were recognized for their contribution. The Mexican pilots were viewed as heroes by the Filipinos because they had such high regard for the Aztec Eagles. The relationship between the Mexican and Filipino peoples deepened as a result of their shared desire for freedom and the camaraderie they discovered on the battlefield. Mexico and the Philippines maintained a close relationship that will live on in history as a testament to bravery and unity. The Philippines were finally liberated in August 1945 as a result of the combined efforts of the Aztec Eagles, American troops, and Filipino guerrillas following months of fierce combat. Filipinos celebrated their newly acquired freedom after the Japanese forces were routed. Future generations were inspired by their story which also served as a symbol of the World War II era's widespread international cooperation. When the war came to an end, the Aztec Eagles returned home back to Mexico. In Mexico, the Aztec Eagles were welcomed back as heroes and praised for their valor and sacrifice.
President Avila Camacho was presented with the battle flag by the returning heroes during a parade in Mexico City. At least five of the young pilots who started their flying careers in Esquadron 201 would advance to the rank of general in the Mexican Air Force in the years following World War II. The Aztec Eagles were the only military unit from Mexico to have ever fought outside of its borders. This is how the Mexican fighter pilots, known as the Aztec Eagles, contributed significantly to the liberation of the Philippines, leaving a lasting impression on history and serving as a reminder of the strength of cooperation and bravery in the face of difficulty. If you enjoy our videos and want to see more that feature the Philippines and Filipinos, please like, share, subscribe, and click the notification bell.